once you've done this main part of the frame, you want to go through all the screws that you've put in, make sure they are nice and tight. As always, don't go stupid tight. Don't try and bend the blooming arm key or anything crazy. Just get them, you know, tight enough. So now we come to the plastic parts, 3D printed parts, I should say. And this is where you want to find out your one with the Z heightening bit in. Orient your bed where this side is supported and this side is supported. Identify which one you want as the front and which one you want as the back. And then put this as the rear left. So saying this is the front, this is the back, this will go approximately here. So I'm going to do that one first, just so I know I've got that in the right place. Don't worry too much about the position for now, just get it on there anywhere that fits. The next part you want to do is this, which will hold the, well, the bed platform assembly onto the completely forgotten the name of the spirally things that do the height adjuster thing. Uh, lead screw, there you go. So yes, obviously they've got the lead screw nuts or lead nuts, whatever you want to call them on here already. And then we just add some two slot nuts and mount it to the frame. They ideally want to be sort of centralized, so bear that in mind. But for now, sort of anywhere is gonna be fine, really. You know, about there, that'll do. Don't wanna do it really tight, just get it in there so it's ready to be used. In general, you want to try and place these as far out to the sides as possible because that will give you the best stability and also a bit more hand for a bit more hand for reaching in, a bit more space for reaching in with your hand. This side is exactly the same as the other one. So the only parts you should have left now are the long M3 countersink screws, your springs and thumb nuts. You can use three or four depending on how you want your bed to be leveled. I quite like three and with such a thick plate it actually works quite well. I'm not going to assemble the bed plate now but hopefully that should be fairly obvious. You just make sure you have your holes in your plate. There should be a countersunk, a countersunk M3 clearance hole. You put that through the top, spring up from the bottom so your plate is sort of wedged in there. And then the thumb nut, well that goes then through the plate and then the thumb nut on the bottom. So you have screw, build plate, spring, mounting plate, thumb nut. And then you can just twist the thumb nut to change the height of the bed. So that's it for the bed platform assembly. Next time we'll go and mount this in the frame with the Z-axis and everything. In fact, that might be afterwards. But next we'll do the Z-axis and this might go in at the same time. We'll see how we go. Hopefully you've enjoyed that video. Thanks very much for watching. If you want to see more tutorials and stuff about 3D printing and computer things as well, then don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. This has been CRT.